There's lots of drugs coming up and we're in a real, really um, fortunate uh, place to be where we've got access to all of these drugs, um, particularly for lung cancer. I think the most most impact really uh, is made by the introduction of adjuvant new adjuvant treatments. And we've also had a, a very nice session in BTOG looking at um, uh, operable cancer and impact of systemic treatments before surgery, after surgery, and the introduction of immunotherapy into this landscape. So we all already have targeted therapies, ozimertinib, available for EGFR mutation patients who have had surgery, and that's going that the data is still emerging. However, uh, this looks very, very promising and really impactful in trying to cure and um, give patients much, much longer time before perhaps they have recurrence, so delaying recurrence. The next, um, as you mentioned, is atezolizumab introduction into the adjuvant um, arena. Um, and I think that will be really important because we know that a significant proportion of patients despite surgery relapse, so we need better um, perioperative treatments to be able to um, make surgery worthwhile for these patients and the investment of, you know, uh, often quite painful um, uh, debilitation with surgery uh, better and so that they can actually aim for a cure and um, delay progression as far as possible. So tezolizumab is um, immunotherapy, which is planned to give, planned to be given for a year afterwards of adjuvant chemotherapy and post-surgery. Um, the next sort of arena really is the new adjuvant space. So that's pre-operative treatment. And um, I think that's probably where everything is going to be aimed at because you need to select these patients. I don't think you can blindly just give everybody a year's worth of treatment. I think patient selection is going to be very important and, uh, you know, on their lives. So a short, sharp, maybe treatment prior to surgery, and then perhaps the people who've not responded go on to have further intensification of treatment as the way forward.